Welcome to TradeEC tutorial. Today we will discuss about JVAT TradeEC software. So let's open the software, which is named as TradeEC Demo. This is the login window. Here you can select the company name. You can also have multiple companies. Here I have only single company. You can also have multiple users. Now type the username and password and click on OK. This is the TradeEC window. Now our first work is to create the company. I have already created the company. Click on Masters, then Company Information. Here you can enter the company name, then Arabic company name, the address and Arabic company address. Select the country and enter the phone number, fax, email ID, then website. Select the currency, then the starting financial year. Select the tax applicable, that is VAT or non-taxable. Then enter the TRN and license number and select the governor rates. After entering all the data, you can save the company information. The second step is adding the products. Now you can manually add the products or you can import directly with Excel. Now I will show you how to add products manually in the software. Click on the product icon. The product master window is opened. So let's create a product. Enter the product name. That is Cisco Power Bank 1000 Watt. Enter the code or model number. Enter the barcode. Then enter EAN code if available. Then enter the product group that is power bank. Then add this product group by clicking on yes. In the same way you can add the company, category and the subcategory if available. Then select the unit of the product that is number. This product is coming under the product type goods. Then enter the Arabic product name by clicking on English to Arabic translation button if required. Then select the VAT percentage that is in sales as well as in purchase. Next is the landing cost. Purchase cost is the landing cost. You can enter your selling price in VAT inclusive rate. Then automatically margin percentage and the margin amount and VAT exclusive rate will be calculated. If you are having stock available of this product, click on Opening Stock Entry. Then click on Yes. Enter the quantity available and add it. Then save it. Finally, our product is created by clicking on Save. On the right hand side, you can see the products which are already created. If you want to search a particular product, you can click on Search. Or you can go to Masters, then Product Search. Then click on Search to view the entire products which have already created. Here you can see 218 products have been entered. You can search via Product Group. Then the product will be listed here under this product group. Double click on it and you can edit the product details if required. You can also search via product name, product code, barcode, company, category, etc. Now let's create the customer master. For that, click on customer. Here you can enter customer name, customer address and all the remaining details which you have. You can also select the sales executive for this particular customer. If this customer has any pending balance, you can enter in the opening balance debit side. Then save the details. Here we have the list of customers which we have already entered. In the same way, you can enter the details of the vendor from whom we purchase our products. Enter the vendor name, address and all the details which are available. If any pending balance are there for this vendor, you can enter in opening balance credit side then save it now you have to enter the employee of your company 
enter the employee name, department or section, address and the remaining details if available. Now let's move on to the purchase. For that, go to transaction, then purchase. This is the purchase window. Now enter the invoice number, invoice date and the vendor name. If you want to create a new vendor from the purchase window, you can press the short key insert button. Now from here, you can enter the vendor details and add it. Now let's enter the products from the list. Enter the quantity and add it. Also if you want to create a new product, you can directly press the short key that is F9 button. From here, you can enter the new product, enter the product name, code or model number and barcode. Also add the product group and add this new product group by clicking on yes. In the same way, you can add the company, category and the VAT percentage. Enter the landing cost and the selling rate in VAT inclusive rate. Then save this product entry. Enter the quantity and add it. Let's enter the remaining products and add it. If you want to delete a particular product from the grid, you can select the product and press the delete button. Then click on yes to delete the entry of that product. Also if you want to edit the rate or the quantity, you can just double click on that particular product and can do the necessary changes. Then update it. Then select the pay mode that is cash or credit. The total net amount is shown here and then you can save the purchase invoice. If you want to go to previous purchase, you can just click on left arrow button. This is the previous entered purchase. Now let's move on to sales. For that, click on transaction then sales. This is the sales window. Enter customer name. Select the employee, then select the products. You can see the stock available of this product on the left side. Enter the quantity and add it. You can also scan the barcode from the code or barcode column. Then enter the quantity and add the product. You can see the credit balance amount in the bottom part. Then select the pay mode. Here I am selecting as credit and then save the bill. This is the A4 print format. QR code is available here. The bill can be customized accordingly. In addition to purchase and sales, we also have purchase order. Here you can select the vendor name and add the products and save the purchase order. In the same way, you can enter the sales order. Next is the delivery not issued. Here you can select the against to which sales order or quotation you are giving the delivery note. After that you can select the sales order number or quotation number and click on view data. The details will be appearing in the grid and you can save it. In addition to this we have internal stock transfer, stock adjustment, external stock receipt, product bundling and loosening. Then the quotation. Here also you can add the customer name, address and add the products to which you have to give the quotation. Also you can type terms and conditions and can save the quotation entry. And can print it or can convert to PDF and can send to mail. Now moving on to purchase return. From here you can select the invoice number then automatically the vendor and the products which you have purchased will be listed here. Then select the products which you want to return and add it. Then save the purchase return. In the same way, you can enter the sales return. Enter the bill number and automatically the customer and the products which you have sold will be listed here. After adding all this, you can save it. Next moving on to voucher entry. Here you will be having receipts. Payments, Journal Entry, Contra, Debit Note and Credit Note. Every type of indirect income rather than sales you can enter in Receipt Voucher. Next is the Payment. Every indirect expense 
you can enter in payment voucher. Let's open this payment. Here you can add the expense entry and can add it. Now moving on to reports. For that click on inventory reports. Here we have all transaction summary. The total sales, purchase, expense, everything will be shown here. Next we have sales report. Here we have various type of sales report. This is the sales report and can view it. We can also sort the sales by company, category, bill number, customer, area, bill amount, employee or user. Also we can sort by product name and select the product and view it. Then you can see the total quantity and the amount of that product which you have sold. Also we have bill wise margin report. Here you can see the margin of a particular bill. Also we have product wise margin report. Then we have the sales report, consolidated report. Here the detailed view of a sales will be shown here. Then comes the purchase report. Then we have stock register detail report. Here you can see the total stock available. Here we have opening stock, the received or the purchase quantity, next the sales or the issued quantity. Then remaining is the stock available. You can also view the stock of a particular product and view it. Next comes the stock quick view report. Here you can select the product and can view the stock available. Also you can print the barcode of this product by clicking on print barcode and enter the number of labels and print it. Next let's view the account report. Here we have debtors report. Here you can see the pending balances of your customers. Next is the creditors report. Here you can see the pending balance for your vendor. Then we have day book, cash book, bank book, account group, ledgers. Select a particular ledger and view it. Then you can see the statement of this ledger. Then you will get employee expense, cash flow, check register, balance sheet, trial balance, profit and loss on a single click. Finally we have the tax reports. We have VAT summary report. Here you can see the VAT payable or refundable amount. Also we have input VAT report, output VAT report, VAT sales report detailed, output VAT sales return, category wise VAT report etc. So this was the overview of how to enter the products, invoicing, billing, inventory in the TradeC accounting software. Hope you find this video helpful. For more updates and videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.